So, I was in the steam room at the YMCA yesterday. Right? So, let me take it back a little bit. Normally, I go to the YMCA. And I go down to the men's locker room. I put my stuff down. And I go upstairs. I work out. And then after that, I go back downstairs in the men's locker room, that is. And I do my usual cycle. That's the steam room, the sauna, the hot tub, and then the shower. And then I'm at, after that, I'm out. Right? So... I'm in the steam room and it's two white, excuse me, it's a white guy and a black guy. You understand that's in the steam room along with me. The black guy starts, sparks, sparks a conversation and he's like, yeah, you know, um, the mandatory mask, you know, is, is done. You know, that law or uh, rule or whatever is over, you know, and he's at he's he's asking the white guy, what does he think about us going around not wearing masks anymore? Right. So the white guy is like, I'm not a fan of that, you know. I think that we uh, prematurely, you know, um, took off our masks. We should still be wearing them, right? So the black guy proceeds to talk about how he got vaccinated. You know, he got his shots and everything. The white guy asks the black guy, well, did you get your booster shots? The black guy says, yes, I got two regular shots and I got two booster shots, right? So then the black guy says, you know, I understand now that the shots and the booster shots won't prevent me from getting the virus but if, if i do get it it will prevent me from death or being in the hospital being very ill or sick from that virus right so then the white guy agrees with them and they're going back and forth talking about how people that are not vaccinated and don't wear masks are stupid right now check it out hear me out i'm, I'm going somewhere with this check it out there's a black guy and a white guy going back and forth and talking about how black, excuse me, how people in general don't care about their health. They're not concerned about their health because if they were, they would be vaccinated, right? They're basically regurgitating everything that was told to them through white media from the president, from the House of Representatives, the Senators, the the the, the House of Representatives, uh, Congress, the House of Representatives, the Senators, these so-called doctors, I don't even want to name them, that's on CNN, right? They're just regurgitating what they see and hear on TV, right? And I'm sitting here and I'm looking at them, I'm like, If you all are really concerned about your health, you know what I'm saying? Because you've been vaccinated. I didn't say that to them, right? But I'm saying this in my mind as they're going back and forth. If you really, really were concerned about your health and all the rest of that shit that you say that you're concerned about, that everybody else is not concerned with, well, why the hell are you fat? Why? Why haven't you taken your fat ass upstairs? You, Because both of them were overweight. The black guy and the white guy, both of them had titties, man boobs. Why didn't you take your fat ass upstairs and do any squats? Get on a bicycle. They got an outdoor and indoor track in the YMCA. Why did I see you up there? It's obvious you got your shots. Okay, cool. You you got your shots and you you took care. You you were responsible. You know what I'm saying? You were being responsible to make sure that you wouldn't get the virus. And if you do get the virus, you won't die. But that doesn't protect you from high blood pressure, diabetes, heart disease, prostate cancer, colon cancer. And this is the point that I'm trying to make to you all. All we do is follow the leaders that are appointed to us. And we don't question shit. We don't. We're taught to be robots. We're taught to obey. You remember those shirts a couple years ago that people were wearing? It said obey on it. I'm like sitting here like, are y'all motherfuckers stupid? Are y'all stupid? Why would I wear a t-shirt that, that says obey on it? But that's what we're taught to do. Obey and not ask questions. After that, I left the gym, right? 
I go to Blackstone. Blackstone is a gun range right up the street off of Wilkinson Boulevard. Pretty Ricky always tell me, yo, man, stop telling people where you get ammo from. Well, there's an abundance of ammo now, so psh, why not? You know what I'm saying? So I was at Blackstone, and um, or at least for now, there's an abundance of ammo. Um, I was at Blackstone getting some ammo, right? So I got like three boxes of 9mm, and I think about four or five boxes of 556, five, right? So I get to the to the register, right? Now they always ask this, but I felt a little bit more comfortable asking somebody, you know, that's I would think that on, that's on the same vibe that I can actually like gel with and you know be myself. So it was a black, you know, cashier there, right? Normally, you know, it's a bunch of white guys, right? So you know, he he's in the process of ringing my stuff up, and he says, "Hey, listen, um, what's your phone number?" And I'm like, "Oh." Now I can finally ask this question and feel comfortable because we can kind of relate to one another because we're black. At least that's what I'm thinking, right? So I asked the question, hey, you know, why do you need my phone number? He's like, well, you know, it's for stock inventory and we need to keep up with your base, your know, information and this and that and so forth. And I'm like, well, why do you need my phone number? That's my personal information, as well as keeping up with the amount of ammunition I buy. This man like really went from zero to ten. That's how he's, that's what he's taught. That's what he's taught. Like, oh, this guy means, he's talking, you know, he's thinking me, I'm going to be a problem because I'm asking questions. That's the type of mentality he has. The same type of mentality that Americans have. It's following your leader and obeying and not asking any type of questions. When it, deal, when it boils down to politics and religion, you can't question your politics, your politicians. You can't question that unseen God that you pray to. So you know what? I let him have it. I'm like, all right, cool, man. My number is such and such and such and such. I bought my, purchased my ammunition and I walked out. I talk about cult leaders all the time, such as Dr. York. You know what I'm saying? And cults such as the Nuwabians. But what we fail to realize as Americans... Is that we're part of a cult called America. Because America sure as hell ain't the land of the free. We got to pay to be on this land. We got to pay for housing. We got to pay for food. We got to pay for, 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 for clothing. These are the essential things that we need in life. Our government is ran by politicians that don't give a fuck about us. And I get up there and make a state of the union address and tell us nothing but lies. That's it. And we believe every fucking thing they say. Which makes no sense to me. So the minute that you get at me. And say. Well, Langston, I'm glad I never was part of a cult. And you were just weak mining and this and that and so forth. You are part of a cult. It's called America spelled with three K's, motherfucker. Your cult leader is sleepy Joe Biden. And you obey everything they tell you to do. Straight up. You don't question because you're taught not to question. And these are government officials that we so-called elected. These are government officials that we that supposed to be working for us. They're using our taxpaying money, our, our money, to do whatever the fuck they want to do with it. The Congress breaks whenever the fuck they want to break. They take spring breaks, breaks, winter breaks, and all the rest of that shit. How many breaks have we had as Americans off of work? And when they break, do the, do the math. Go up there, Google it. When they break, they break for weeks. Some of the times when they break, I'm talking about the Congress, Congress that is, when they break, they're in the middle of like budgeting America. And then, you know, they'll be on some shit like, yo, you know, the Democrats haven't decided what they're going to do with, with the Republicans and this and that and so forth. And you know what? Capitol Hill is going to be a government shutdown. By the way, we're going to take a vacation. We're going to break. We're we going on spring break. How many fucking Americans can afford to take a break like that? 
Because they take breaks and they get paid while they're on their break. Which makes no sense to me. We are all following the leaders that have been appointed to us. And it's crazy. They did, what, what? Check this out. So, we have a problem with our politicians, right? The people that we elect, right? And the way that we solve the problem is, ah, we, I'm just going to, next time when it's time for us, for, for, for me to vote, I'm just going to vote another motherfucker that's going to lie and do the same damn thing that the other motherfucker did that I had a problem with. Straight up. This time I ain't gonna I ain't gonna vote for the elephant. I'm gonna vote for the jackass. <laughs> like as if the jackass is any better. And if y'all don't know who I'm talking about, I'm talking about the donkey, the Democrats. Should at least the, the Republicans, you know, are straightforward. Like, yo, this is how it's gonna be, and it is what it is. The Democrats are the ones that you gotta watch out for. You understand? So when all else fails, you know what I'm saying? When you can't get this person elected or that person that you thought that you uh, you you voted for and he was going to get in, he or she was going to, you know, change things. They didn't change things. Then what you do, you get on your knees and you start praying to your God. And when you pray to your God, you start asking questions, questions that your God never answers. So what happens is it's just a continuing cycle and you pass that bullshit dependent ass mentality on to your children's children, 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 believe in God, vote, believe in God, vote, believe in God, vote. Specifically in the African-American community, we shouldn't be doing either or. Straight up. We should have learned our lessons. Lessons, plural. We still fighting for voting rights. We still fighting for the right to vote. <laughs> and then once we get past that and we vote someone in such as Camilla Harris, you know what I'm saying, and Joe Biden, you know, now y'all got, um, and I say you all, cause you all have faith in those motherfuckers. Now you have the first black woman that's gonna be on a judge, a judge of whatever the fuck Supreme Court. You think that shit makes a fucking difference? Don't you realize that white men are smart? Don't you realize that? That white men will appoint black women? They have appointed black women. This ain't nothing new to run their, co their, their companies. Because one thing black women will do is bust their ass for that white man. They'll get that. They'll, they'll they'll make sure that that fucking company or corporation is being ran to the T. If I'm not mistaken, uh, a black woman uh, is CEO of McDonald's now. If I'm not mistaken, if if she isn't if she isn't right now, she once was. So that's nothing new. It's nothing new. White men do that all the time. They appoint black women in in any businesses that they they have. Nothing new. So that black woman that's on the Supreme Court right now. Or Camila Harris or any type of black black man or woman. When you see those motherfuckers, they ain't nothing but puppets. They're there to keep white su supremacy going on. That's it. While we are nothing but straight up motherfucking followers. That's it. That's all we are. And that's what y'all need to realize and understand. You know, I, I do these videos and, and, and everybody laughs at me. <laughs> Goddamn, Lacey. And you, hold on, hold on. You believe that that man was from another planet? <laughs> oh my God, you got to be. I got to share this with my friends. I got to share this and let my friends know how stupid this nigga was, Langston 2092. Look at it, look at it. Come over here, Tracy. Look, and he gonna say, he gonna say, he believed that this nigga was from another planet. <laughs> they had three sons, Utu, Shamus, and uh, what was the other one? I can't even fucking remember.
Yeah. But guess what? I'm laughing at you. When you sat there and you looked at the State of the Union address and Joe Biden folded his hands and said, you know, it's all about y'all don't know anything about that shit. Y'all don't know anything about that shit. It's all about, you know, hand movements and your body movements, you know, color codes and shit like that. Joe Biden wearing, let's say, for example, a blue suit and a red tie. All that shit is it means something. Him folding his hands and putting his hands up. It all means something. You sitting there believing every fucking thing this punk ass nigga saying to you. And it's going to be OK. We're going to lessen the prices. Inflation is not going to exist in a couple months. How? Why did it even exist in the very beginning? And it's crazy because every time something happens, like I, straight up, I'm not going to even lie. This is my word. I'm not even lying. This is my word. Those motherfuckers that get on white media, our government officials and be like, well, you know, the gas prices are going to go up. Why? Well, because uh, a donkey ran across the street and, and got hit by a car. You know, so we're going to have to have the gas prices going to have to go up. And people don't ask why. Like, what the, f why the fuck is gas prices going up because of the Ukraine sh situation? Why? When we get oil or, 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 or gas from other places. And they said it on the news that Ukraine is responsible for like 1% or 10% of the gas, that the oil that we get. Why our gas prices are going up? Why? I'm trying to understand that. Why is our food going up? And please don't regurgitate the shit that they tell us on the news to me in the comment section of this video. Stop it. And I know what y'all gonna say. Well, you know, the ship's having docked and this and that and blah, blah, blah. And then there's low, uh, how, what do they say? Uh, uh, lack of staff. Y'all saying the same shit that they tell you on the news. Say something new. Say something new. Everybody, everybody, all the prices have gone up. I can understand. Let's just say for the sake of the conversation that you're right. <coughs> that there's a um, short, with, that there's short staff, you know. <coughs> Excuse me. That was short staff, right? Excuse me, that there's short staff, right? Let's say um, at the shipping docks. Um, let's say, you know, so we can't get TVs, you know what I'm saying? We can't get any type of electronics. But that's not the only thing that has going up. It's not the only thing that's going up. Everything has going up. My YMCA membership has going up. Everything. Yo, man. Let me tell you something, man. And I'm being real. We got to stop being dependent on people that don't have our best interests. We just have to. We got to start having a mind of our own. Thinking for ourselves, doing for ourselves, you know, doing for our families because straight up, this is real talk. Nobody's going to give a fuck about you but you. That plain and simple. We have to realize that, yo, we are in a cult right now. And a cult leader, our leaders are have been appointed to us, or have been appointed for us. You know what I'm saying? To do a job. And that's to keep us under control. Religion is 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 control. Government is keep is keeping us under control. It's all about control. That's it. And we have literally been taught to obey and not question any fucking thing that our politicians do and our so-called God gods do. Because, you know, they're pl it's plural. You know, people don't just believe in one God. You know what I'm saying? There's numerous, there's numerous of religions and ways of life out there. You know what I'm saying? For the most part, man, we got to do for self. And this is what originally, this is what the original agenda was when these black organizations started out. 
Now it's all about money. You know what I'm saying? The conscious community is all about, you know, getting money. But for the most part, originally, that's where, where you know, where we started. You know, that was our agenda, you know, do for self, being independent, being self-sufficient. You know what I'm saying? Being sovereign, you know, autonomous, you know, this, this is what we have to get back to, man. Other than that, man, if we don't stop this shit and, and, and you know, stop our frame of thought right now which is just being robotic and 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 just obeying and not questioning and and not thinking outside the box then guess what it's going to continue things are going to continue to go on and on and on it's going to get worse you know what i'm saying if they could take away one right that we have then they could take away the rest of them if i take it back if they if they if they take away because they they test us all the time so they they if they take away one right and they got away with it. And then they say, well, shit, let's let's take away like three more rights and see if we can get away with it. Let's see if if they allow us to get away with it. Right. And then they get away with it. Then guess what? They're going to one day. Eventually, they're going to be like, man, we're going to take away all these motherfuckers rights because we allow them to do whatever they fucking want to do. The oligarchies of the world, we allow them to do whatever the fuck they want to do. That plain and simple. So, yo, man, you know, this is real talk. Do for self. Rely on self. Be responsible for your life as well as your loved ones. You understand? Other than that, my name is Langston2092. I want you to like, comment, subscribe. Definitely share this video.